Hi, this is Hank Hennegraff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. An article caught my eye this morning that was rather, well, sensationalistic. It was titled, The Rapidly Cooling Core of Earth is Cause for Concern. The article written by Scott Gleason appeared in USA Today. The upshot of the article was that Earth's interior is cooling faster than we previously thought it would, and that according to a peer-reviewed study, which of course prompts questions about how long we as people can continue living on the planet. The peer-reviewed study went on to say that Earth may well become what Mercury and Mars are like today. In other words, just a rocky planet that is uninhabitable. I bring this up for two reasons, the first of which is sensationalism never seems to end. Sensationalism from, let's say, AOC saying we have now less than a decade to live on the planet before climate change shuts us down, to Gleason now saying that this rapid cooling is going to make Earth, well, unlivable. But if you look behind the article, you find that there are some interesting statistics, including the fact that this rapid cooling, so to speak, is not measured in decades, but in billions of years. But there's another point that I think we oftentimes miss when we read articles like this, and that is the reality that Earth is nothing like Mercury or Mars. Earth is a singularly privileged planet. It is situated between two arms of a flattened spiral galaxy, not too close to the core to be exposed to lethal radiation or comet collisions or light pollution that would obscure observation of the distant universe. And not only that, but the atmosphere of our privileged planet is both oxygen-rich for survival and transparent for discovery. The moon, think about the moon, the perfect size and distance from our Earth to stabilize rotation and to facilitate human human habitability. And not only that, but the moon and the sun's relative sizes and distances from our Earth provide perfect solar eclipses, which of course play a vital role in the determination of the nature of stars and the confirmation of Einstein's general theory of relativity. So from habitability to discoverability, our planet's status in the universe is one of privilege. So let's not compare it inordinately to Mercury or Mars, or let's not say, as so many are saying today, that there's nothing spectacular about Earth. The more you look into the details, the more you see God's eternal power, divine nature, clearly seen through what has been made. And therefore, as St. Paul says in Romans, those that obscure the facts have no excuse. Thanks for tuning in.